Hey there guys. So today we're gonna to forge an owl bottle opener. We're gonna use quarter by one, which is six by 25. For those of you working metric, we're gonna use a slot punch. It's about three quarter by three sixteenths. We're gonna use, I don't know what we call this, a rounded butcher. Um, You'll see this is how we part the, the opener off the bar and it gives the owl its horns. We're gonna use a ball punch. We're gonna use that for the owl's eyes, the rounded, big rounded section around for the eyes, as well as the opener section. We're gonna use an eye punch and we're gonna use this cold chisel just to do some of the details. And we're also going to use a one inch drift in order to grow the opener section or the body of the owl. All right. Hope you guys like it. Stick around to the end. Watch the whole thing. All right. Here we go. So we're going to start with our slot punch. Again, three sixteenths by three quarter maybe. You can make this yourself out of a piece of coil spring. Um, or you can purchase yourself some W1 or other tool steel. I made this a long time ago and it's a lot shorter than it used to be and uh, I might make it a little differently if I did it over again but anyways it still works I still use it depending on the length of your punches you're gonna want a glove for the hand you're holding the punch in otherwise things are gonna get too warm all right so we want equal distance on three sides. So from the end of the bar to the edge of the punch, from the edge of the bar and the edge of the bar to the punch on either side, equal distance. Give it a little light top and see that you're happy with how things are centered. If not, make the correction if you're happy. Give it one more and then we'll get that back in the fire in the fire and get it very hot. It helps to keep a little bit of water on hand. Which I'll inevitably drop on the floor. But for now it'll be there to cool or punch off. Alright. Good and hot. Find the mark we've already established and give it a good shot. You can cool your punch often. You can also turn your punch around if you think it's a little bit asymmetrical. It really doesn't matter too much. Not much of that. So now we're two pulled, but you can see we're four hits in and uh, not quite halfway. Yeah, these openers are fun to make. I do a couple different styles. We can do another one in the future. I do a beaver, which is my own design. Um, this owl, I've seen variations of it on the internet. I don't remember where I first saw it, probably somewhere on Pinterest. Um, a little bit lankier version than what I make. Mine are kind of compact and uh, you can put your own spin on them, make them their, your own caricature of an owl. There are no rules. I would say if you're going to copy someone else's design uh, very close, um, do give them credit. It's just a thin section of material, so it cools off quickly. There's no sense pounding against a cold piece of steel. So as many heats as you need, you'll know when you're down far enough, um, the entire bottom of the slot punched area is going to turn black when it's on the surface of the anvil. And at that point you can flip it over and it'll be pretty easy to spot where we're going to punch through from the other side.
Okay. You can hear the difference. There, it's starting to turn black on the bottom. And you can hear we're hitting the anvil now. Just get it even. Okay, so we hit the anvil. We've got that black spot. I'll give it a few taps. You can see the bulge. We know we want to be centered. So just by eye. Give it one, two, three. That's probably through. Support that on the edge of your hardy hole. Switch sides if you need to. And we have made a bit of a mess. Let's see. There we go. All right, so now that's released, don't worry about those marks. That's just from the hardy hole. I could probably uh, soften. Soften the edge of my hardy hole a little bit, but those marks will come out as we forge. Um, that burr that's there, we'll clean up. So we're done with the slot punch. It's too hot to touch anyways. We'll leave it on the floor. We're going to move to a drift. Get it hot. I like to drive the burr same direction it's already headed. Personal choice. Over the pitch will start. Um, this helps as well, just a little, a little upset to help open that up a little bit. Okay. First side down. It should get close to the pitcher hole size you want to move over here to the hardy and again don't go too far I'm leaving that burr out intentionally so it looks terrible right now but uh, what I'm going to do off camera I'm just going to run over to my belt sander quickly and just clean that off you can do it with a file as well if you want a belt sander. Okay. so that's the burr cleaned off everything else will flatten out with forging So now that we've got that burr taken care of, flatten everything out, and then come back with our drift. Just switching from side to side. And as you open this up, you'll see we're starting to get that curve on the bottom, which is the owl's uh, feet on a branch per se and uh, yeah it's a nice effect you can also see that we're thinning this side more than that side so what we might do on the next heat is we might intentionally cool that side and allow this side to draw more that trick can be used not just on openers but on tomahawks and axes hammers um, Preferentially cooling or heating one side um, will allow you to control which side is going to stretch and thin. So that side is thinner. So I've intentionally cooled it. Now things are looking a little more even. Not perfect yet. Maybe we'll do that one more time. Pretty good. So this time I just laid the side that I want to thin down in my coal forge. And we'll allow that to uh, more or less catch up to the other side. All right, so that's that. So now we have 
the bottle opener eye opened up. What we can do now is start to lay this out while it's at a cold heat. I like to put the opener down there and imagine a beak here. So I like to put the eyes about there. So that's the beginning of the eyes. Okay, back out of the fire. The eye section's the cooler section, so we'll start there. Before we lose our heat. And those are good enough for now. Two eyes are started the opener section is good again if you start with a one inch round drift perfect for a bottle Just got a quick brush drop my hammer I like to set those in deep enough that it starts to flare out on the sides. At this heat, we can go on to the next detail, which is our eye point for the pupil. Center that. There goes the water, as predicted. <clears throat> Now we're going to do the beak. We can lay this out cold. For this part, I like to use a cold chisel. And if you can imagine, the chamfered side of the cold chisel is the outside edge of the beak. So centered here. Staying away from the eye. Okay, so there it is laid out cold. We will get this hot and we will define that. Okay, nicely up to temperature. Find the marks you previously made. And drive them a little deeper. And that gives you the beak at this time. I like to do the toes. Three on each side. Because that may or may not be anatomically correct. Okay. So that's that. The beak and the claws. I'm done with that cold chisel. Next, we're going to define the owl's horns using this curved butcher that I made. And just decide where you like it. I like it right about there. At a black heat, we can do that layout punch. While we're at this same black heat, I'm gonna add a couple details that look like the wings with the same curved butcher. cold Couple shots we actually missed the mark a little bit but that's fine I'm gonna clean this up afterwards with a file
be careful not to drive that chisel into the anvil. I like to get it close like that. It should want to break free. from there and then knock these sharp corners off so it feels nice in your hand. Dull red, we're gonna go ahead and put our touch mark on the back here. And while we've got it here, put our flatter on it so that's about it canola oil while it's hot it'll blacken up nicely there you have it guys one owl bottle opener quick easy project sells pretty good at the markets um, 20 or 30 bucks and uh, yeah you can make one in about half an hour once you get the process down pat and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.